To this day, scientists are still uncertain about the full extent of Dinosuchus's presence in the region, but evidence suggests it certainly thrived in Bay. Bays, estuaries, and coastal waters. Some fossils have even been found in marine deposits, implying that it may have occasionally ventured into deeper waters. It wasn't limited to just one side of the seaway, either. Dinosuchus inhabited both the eastern and western regions, with significant differences in size depending on where it lived. In the east, these crocodilians were smaller but more abundant, whereas in the west, they were rarer but far larger, reaching an impressive 12 meters or 39 feet in length. Even so, the largest Dinosuchus still fell short in length compared to the biggest Mosasaurs. However, it made up for this with a stockier, more robust build, weighing in at an estimated maximum of around 8.5 tons. Yet, weight alone wasn't its only advantage. Dinosuchus was also heavily armored. Like most crocodilians, it was protected by osteoderms, but what set it apart was that these bony plates were significantly larger and thicker than usual. In fact, when they were first discovered, paleontologists mistakenly thought they belonged to an ankylosaur. These natural armored plates covered the backs of adult Dinosuchus and were hemispherical in shape providing not only excellent defense, but also serving as anchor points for soft tissue, which ultimately played a crucial role in supporting its ability to move on land. But the real reason Dinosuchus was such a terrifying predator was its monstrous bite. With an enormous skull that resembled that of an alligator, its broad structure allowed for immense biting power, further amplified by well-developed jaw muscles. All of this combined to produce a bite force that may have exceeded that of a fully grown T-Rex, with some estimates suggesting a staggering 100,000 newtons, five times the power needed to crush a car. This tremendous force was delivered through its massive teeth, which were sharper at the front and blunter toward the back, 